Hey everyone, this is Christine D, aka Jordan the Easel, with sort of a first impressions product review. Not sponsored, I just saw this stuff and thought it looked cool. So uh, yeah, this is an Arteza sketch pad. This should, should be watercolor. Ooh, I like the tooth on that paper. Yes, that, that's gonna be, it's gonna be beautiful. And this is what initially caught my eye, which prompted me to look for a sketchbook. And this is the Best Crafts Washable Semi-Moist. Not sure how I feel about calling it semi-moist, but the uh, Washable Semi-Moist Watercolors. It's basically a watercolor set, and the colors are what intrigued me, because that green, and there was a blue in here. Ooh, that that purple. That's like a in person. That is like a fluorescent pink, and I am, I am loving that. That is beautiful. Now this is advertised for kids. Basically, like a beginner set. Let's see. Ah, here we go. That, that beautiful turquoisey tealy color. That caught my eye. But they are individual pans. But they are more of that like waxy kind of watercolor. So I am very, very curious about these. So uh, let's, let's dig right in. We are the top to the case. And I don't know if that was my hair from the desk for me placing it down or if this was in the packaging. Slightly concerning. I will get a tissue and remove that. Hang on. Okay. On to the watercolors. These are individual pans and there is no case. But it does come with... A little paintbrush that is taped in, which explains why I'm struggling to get this out. But okay, I will give that a shot. But so far, these seem nice. I feel like any sort of waxy watercolor, not surprising. Definitely not keeping this. I will have to come up with some sort of palette situation for it, but just look at what we got right off the bat. That is an interesting fluorescent yellow. I like that. I like it a lot. There's that beautiful, beautiful pink. And that, I guess that's the teal shade that looks darker in pan and actually looks bluer on camera, but more like an aqua in person. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh. That purple looks really nice. It looks very plummy. Well, it looks it looks more warm tone in person. Let's just get these out of here. Because I'm not going to keep them in this order anyway. But, ooh, look at those two next to each other. That's beautiful. Beautiful. You know, I need to come up with a better situation for this. This, this plastic tray is going in the trash. This is despicable. These are beautiful. Not named. Okay. Which means I get to come up with names. Sweet. Ooh, I just realized if I make it, if I make a palette, I get to reorganize this however I want. <laughs> Which means it's going to be way more colorful than made it. I'll be right back, hang on. All right, for now, I don't have anything I can actually put those in. So th th this is the setup for now. And uh, let, let, let's get the webcam going. 
and do some swatching. That sounds good. Okay, because this is definitely not showing what I'm necessarily seeing, but it's definitely making it easier to see a lot of the colors. Uh, you, you know, let, let's talk about this. Again, this is a rather affordable set. It's typically marketed towards kids, so it's understandable that they're the more waxy type, but, um... Definitely more pastel than I thought. And I mean, I guess semi moist is correct in the fact that it takes these a little while to dry, unlike most watercolor paints. Because even as I was doing this, I ended up accidentally getting my thumb in this one while I was all the way over here. So that was a good couple of swatches later. But you yeah, know, a lot of these, these are all these vibrant pinks up here, so. I guess if you want a pastel set, <laughs> this is far cheaper than, what is the, what was it, the Paul Rubens, I think, is the one that everyone goes for. So if you want an affordable pastel set, just be careful, because these take a while to dry, because as you can see, even some of these aren't even dry yet. Okay, so, just to make sure I wasn't going nuts and it was just the paper or something. Got a my trusty smaller watercolor field artist sketchbook. And granted I did have to double dip to get some of these that were more pastel in the Arteza or Arteza, however you say it. Watercolor sketchbook. They did both perform relatively the same, and yes, I kind of graded them afterwards. I definitely say it's more of a 6 out of 10. Because one thing I definitely, definitely will say is it did feel like I was pushing the color around instead of actually laying color down. And I noticed that especially with like some of these oranges, I think some of the browns too. I think you can even see in the speed paint or a speed swatch. It's like, yeah, no, it really felt like some of these were being pushed around rather than laid down. So, for a beginner set, yes, I would recommend these. I would 100% recommend it for the price. But, just don't expect a lot of color payout because, like I said, that was the initial swatch. That was after double dipping. And again, the only reason I can 
think these would be considered semi-moist is because they take a little longer to dry. So be careful when painting with these. And yeah, that, that is that is what I've got to say on these. And maybe next I'll make a video testing out, like properly testing out this sketch pad because this is beautiful. Thick watercolor paper. It's got nice tooth to it. I am a sucker for paper with tooth to it, which is part of why I like watercolor so much. But yeah. Maybe next we'll do a video on the sketch pad. Or sketchbook. I keep saying sketch pad. So yeah. That's my thought on the the best crafts. Washable semi-moist watercolors. Six out of ten.